Hi guys, it's Kelly Lanavola here and I am back with another video for Honeybee Stamps. Today we are going to be using two different stamp sets um, that are geared towards Father's Day or masculine cards. Um, but if you're somebody who likes um, old time cars, they, they really can be for anybody. So this is Car Show and Father's Day. I love both of the sets, so does my son. And I'm going to be making two different cards. I know masculine cards are difficult. They are very difficult for me. This is one of the, well, a couple of the tips, I guess, that I have found that worked for me. One of them is pattern stamping. So um, if you aren't really sure what to do, there is a, you can kind of create your own pattern paper. And I'm going to do that for both of these. And I'm going to do it two different ways. So the first way I'm going to do it is I'm going to stamp them because um, there's areas on these vehicles that are solid, I'm going to stamp them in colors. Uh, and that way it just creates kind of like an interesting background without really having to do anything with it. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's pretty quick. Um, this one, this is the first one that I did, so it took me a little bit longer because I was trying to get my placement right. But I had to, I literally, guys, I left everything in so that you could see the whole process, but then also so it wouldn't be the world's shortest video. Because... Um, we're going to talk about some things. So I am stamping on watercolor paper because originally I thought I was going to watercolor these on top of it, but I really loved the clean look that I ended up only watercoloring the second one. Um, so just FYI on that, I did stamp all of them twice. So you might notice that my allergies are acting up. And I thought about skipping the voiceover, but the reality of the situation is the things that we're going to talk about, um, I may end up crying. So I figured, uh, that I might as well just go ahead and get it out of the way on the day that I already sounded terrible, right? Right. So normally you guys come to my YouTube channel and, um, you know, we keep it real here and we talk about things that happen in my real life. And about a week ago, two, week, two weeks ago now, um, I was just MIA from YouTube, from Instagram, from the blog, from the whole thing. And I told you eventually we would talk about that story. So here we are, and this is, these cards are very fitting for the situation because we're talking about my dad. Um, so about two weeks ago, I was at work. My mom called me and um, she led the conversation with don't freak out. So that's usually not a very good sign. Um, and then uh, my dad had a heart attack. That's, that's what happened. Um, and so he is fine, thank God. Uh, they did the um, heart catheterization and found that he had two arteries that were 100% blocked. One of them they put two stints in and the other one um, had made its own bypass, which is amazing. Um, like the human body is just so completely amazing. But anyway, so that is why I was missing in action. I was doing um, the family things because those things are obviously the most important things. So these two stamp sets are geared towards Father's Day, so I wanted to talk about my dad a little bit. Um, you know, you guys have heard me talk about my mama, and uh, I had a, I had a wonderful childhood. I was blessed with two wonderful parents, um, and I know not everybody is that lucky, and I was so, so lucky. Um, my dad is, still is, um, very affectionate. It was very affectionate when we were growing up, kind of silly, goofy, you know, joking around. And um, you know how, like, when you're younger, you get that, like, mother's curse. Like, I hope your kids are just like you. That's a real thing, by the way, FYI. And then it's very, very frustrating dealing with an old version of yourself. Um, but I am my father's daughter. And I'm just like my dad. And when people say that, Sometimes I think when we say that to people, it's in a negative context, like, oh, you're just, you know, you're just like your father. Um, but I never, <laughs> I never took that as an insult and I still don't. Um, I am proud to be his daughter. I am proud that I am like my father. Um, my dad taught me a lot of things. He is stubborn and, <laughs> um, Sometimes he can be a little bit blunt and he tells you things whether you want to hear them or not. And that is me all the way. That's me all the way. Um, I just don't, I wouldn't know how to, I, I would not know how to lie to somebody. So kind of the joke is like, don't ask me a question if you don't know the answer to it, because I'm going to tell you. Um, and I totally get that from my dad. Uh, <laughs> but I also get, um, 
my desire to stick up for other people. Oh, here's funny. I touched this with my fingertip. Do you see how I've left a fingerprint on this card? Um, but yeah, so I don't know how that happened, but I'm going to end up cutting it off. The first card I made, I'm actually going to use as a template for the second one. And the second one, I am going to just do completely black stamping because I am going to do the watercoloring over it. This just makes it super easy because then I already know where to line up the cars um, because I'm stamping all in one ink color. I don't have to keep moving it around. Um, anyway, uh, so I do, I get my, my desire to stick up for other people. My dad was a pipe fitter and he was a pipe fitter from the time he was 18 until he retired into his 60s. And uh, as he worked... Um, you know, his way up from apprentice to journeyman to foreman, um, you know, he would tell stories about jobs that he was on with the guys and maybe some other people who tried to take advantage of them. And maybe he didn't always go about it <laughs> in the best way. And like one of the situations he told him he'd walk off the job. Um, but like he always stuck up for the people who worked for him, um, when he was retiring, you know, in any kind of trade, I come from a blue collar family and any trade there's, you know, typically layoffs in the winter. My dad was getting ready to retire and, um, right before retirement, he took the layoff. Uh, so one of the younger guys could keep working and take care of his family. So my dad went on unemployment until his retirement eventually kicked in. Cause that's what you do when you're in a trade, you take the unemployment until, you know, the job starts back up again. So, those things, um, you know, looking out for other people, being kind to other people. Uh, anytime somebody calls from a charity, if it's for, um, you know, kids, he cannot say no. He cannot help but give. Um, so those things I also get from him, get my artistic side from him. Uh, my, my dad can draw. My mom is not terribly crafty. Um, so I get that from, from his side. Um, my dad taught me how to drive. I still cannot, to this day, cannot even think, I'll probably start crying now, um, I cannot even think of the song Drive by Alan Jackson uh, without thinking of my dad. My dad did teach me drive. He, he, my dad had three daughters, taught all three of us to drive. And um, the first time I took my driver's license test, I actually failed. I failed the maneuverability. And even though, like, he would take me up to empty parking lots and help me practice. And so when I failed, I knew I was going to hit the cone. I hit it with my side mirror. Um, but the lady didn't tell me that I could start over and just be minus points. But it's an automatic failure if you hit the cone. But regardless, I failed the first time. But the second time, he had to work. And so my sister took me to take my test. And after I passed, um, I called him because I was super excited. I got my driver's license. And um, he said... Uh, open the trunk and on the right hand side there's like a little pocket thing and he had put like $20 so my sister and I could go out for um, you know lunch or breakfast to celebrate me getting my driver's license just things like that and uh, so I was just very very lucky um, that I had loving parents um, oh the affection thing so like I always just remember him you know joking around with my mom um, being very loving and, you know, she'd always be like, John, stop it. Um, but it's things that as a child that I saw and things, um, that I knew that I wanted for my own marriage, um, you know, to be playful and to joke around and, and be, um, a, you know, be loving to each other. When I was young, I had a girlfriend who, um, you know, you all do sleepovers and things like that. And, uh, we were, what were we doing? We were probably talking to boys, honestly, but we were in my bedroom and my dad came in to say goodnight, gave me a hug, kiss me goodnight. And I was in high school. And, uh, like years later, she told me that she didn't even know dads did that until mine did because hers didn't. And it never occurred to me that there would be dads out there that weren't doing that because mine always had. Um, so, oh, quick note about the card here. Um, I started with Scattered Straw because it, I felt like it matched the Hayride color the best, um, but it was not yellow enough. So I did eventually go in with the Mustard Seed and that was a much better fit for this type of card. Um, I'm not really, you can see, like, I'm not really detailing these out. I don't think it needs to be um, done that way. These are just super quick, kind of like the Distress style painting. And I really, really love the way that it came out. 
um, just a little bit, I guess, softer with the combination of the distress oxides and then not really, um, you know, like painting every intricate detail. It didn't need to be that way since it's going to be a background. Um, and I think that it just, you know, looks kind of like a little bit more distressed and a, um, a little bit more, I don't want to say haphazard because it sounds, I don't know, that sounds bad, but, um, I... I don't know, I just really like the way it came out. I should probably try to do this more often because I try to, you know, detail everything to death most times. Um, but anyway, so that obviously was, um, was a little bit scary. And, um, you know, with Father's Day coming up and stuff, it just makes me, um, just really, really very grateful, um, for, for everything that he's, you know, done for me. If my dad worked, you know, in a trade, so if he didn't work, he didn't get paid. Um, so my dad always worked. He just, you know, my mom took us to Disneyland. Disney World, Disneyland. I can never remember which one's which. I think it was Disney. It was the one in Florida, y'all. That one. Um, but, you know, he stayed home and worked. And my mom took us by herself because that was the only way they could afford to do it. Um, yeah, just, I'm, I'm very, very grateful for the upbringing that I had and that relationship, um, in my life. Um, so, you know, now, obviously the hardest part is getting him to do anything that the doctor says. It's so frustrating. Um, you know, I know he's grown, he's my dad, he's used to the one being in charge, um, but that can sometimes just be like, you just want to shake them. You know what I'm saying? You, you ever have a parent that's just like not doing the things that they're supposed to be doing. You just want to shake them. Um, but it's because you love them. It's because you love them so very much and you're concerned about their health. So hopefully going forward, we can start making better, you know, decisions so that this isn't something that, um, you know, continues to be a problem uh, for him. So anywho, back to the card since this is a very short, well, it's not a super short video, but it is for me. You guys know me. Um, I did, I, I finished up all the coloring and then for the sentiments, I wanted to do, um, some just super quick, you know, heat embossing black on white. That's my preferred, especially if I'm stamping in black, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, um, the embellishments. So oftentimes with masculine cards, you know, you don't put flowers, you don't put sequins, you're not putting glitter. So sometimes it can feel like it's missing something. But there are other ways to embellish. Enamel dots are a great one if, like, you just can't help but use sequins. Like, so Nouveau drops or, um, you know, embellishment, the little circle embellishment stickers, those are all great. I decided to go a different route. I actually used my cardstock as an embellishment. So for the Happy Father's Day, I cut it into kind of like a banner shape. And then I cut two smaller pieces. This was actually the hardest part of the card, was trying to get this skinny, teeny tiny little piece of um, foam tape onto this skinny little tiny, teeny piece of cardstock. But uh, once I did, I was really happy with the way it looked and I just kind of used it to accent the, um, like as another design element to accent the sentiment. So I just did one, um, thinner piece and then one thicker piece right underneath the flag. Uh, and once I get this one on, you'll see, um, that I kind of skipped over the, uh, the foam taping of the second piece. Cause honestly, I wanted to spare you. I would have spared myself if I could have, but I could not. Um, and then I just trimmed off the backside. You could even do one and that would totally be, um, okay. I just thought the two would make it a little bit more interesting, but that's a, a way that you can embellish without, you know, having to put all like the glitz and glam on it. For the other one, um, I pretty much just used like the leftover pieces from the first one that I had already cut up and, um, I cut them into smaller pieces. So the the man, the myth, the legend is actually one stamp set after I 
or one stamp set, good lord, one stamp, once I had them uh, heat embossed, I cut it into separate pieces so that I could make it kind of like three layers and it would fill up the center of the card. This has such great, it has, you know, grandpa, papa, pops, dad, brother, in-law, um, if you have a stepdad, it's got all these things in there. One of my favorites is, it says, I'll always be your little girl. And there's one that says daddy's girl, which is adorable if you have a daughter, um, or if you are a daughter. Uh, but my son calls my dad Papa. Um, so that's why I chose this particular one. You can see here, I'm kind of messing around with it. Foam tape, um, you can kind of move around, even if you have the sticky off. Um, as long as you don't press it down. And mine I had just set there until I knew I had it where I wanted it, and then I pushed it down. And then that's pretty much it. Um, so I just wanted to quickly share that little story with you guys and these wonderful stamp sets. I can see using them for a ton of other things. Um, so I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.